Yo, what's up guys, how is it going? Uh, if you came here, probably you know it is next cloud, you know also the pros and cons, you know how to use it, and stuff like that. You know probably most of the ways of installing it, so all of that I'm gonna skip it. In this video I'm gonna show you how you can install Nextcloud using the RPM or DNF package manager on Rocky Linux, Alma Linux and any similar distribution. That The, the thing that you need to understand is uh, we're gonna install Nextcloud as an RPM package on those distributions while they do not have it on their official repositories. So this is the cool thing, okay? That's how you're gonna benefit, that's how you're gonna enjoy installing it as uh, an RPM package. I do not know if later it's gonna be updated. Probably you need to do the same method to update it. It can cause, it can cause you some inconvenience, but for me I believe or I prefer it over using the zip from the official website. Uh, I believe that it's a little similar to the Docker or a little bit better than the docker uh, container whenever you want to install uh, Nextcloud as a docker container if there is a video about it on YouTube you can follow it otherwise we can make it one day so here I have these two boxes the first one contains Alma Linux this first one contains Alma Linux and the second one contains Fedora when we do here uh, we want to install Nextcloud from the official uh, repository. We find it on Alma. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, on Fedora. Look at this. You can see that it's gonna give us the package and all of its uh, dependencies. Okay, so we we don't need to install it here. It's not what we are gonna do here. You can follow along, and you're gonna see how you can do this thing on Alma Linux, Rocky and whatever, all those things. So what you need to do is, I have prepared the packages that do not exist on uh, the official repositories of Rocky and Alma Linux. And I have put them on this directory. I have put them on this directory. If we do ls, we can find them here. We have here nextcloud, httpd, mysql, and nginx, postgresql, and so on. These are the packages that you need to pull from the official repositories of Fedora. How to do that? You go do sudo dnf download and then you take these ones. You can do it by this way also sudo to know what are the, the missing packages from the official repository of uh, Rocky and so on. Take the names. Come here. All these ones, I believe they exist, and I'm going. I'm going to show you that they exist in the official official repositories. You take this one, like this. Space. You add another one. Take this one. HTTPD. It's the Apache one. Like this. And then you take this one. They are enough. These ones so far are enough. But later you may need. Look here, they are already downloaded. I downloaded them. But for you, you can take them and download them. I will cancel the download because I have already prepared them on my Alma box. I have this next cloud. You yourself, you need to download it. And then the next thing you need to do, I'm not going to show you in this video. You need to put them on your computer that has Alma on it or has Rocky on or whatever maybe also Red Hat is included in this thing you move those files or you copy them from this uh, Fedora to that computer that has uh, Nextcloud and uh, missing dependencies from its official repositories and you do like this you prepare them on the same directory like me here I have this directory. If we can, if we do pwd, it's gonna tell us I have prepared it on this directory. If you do here, just to prove to you that Alma, uh, Alma doesn't have or Rocky doesn't have Nextcloud, we do dnf install 
next cloud it will say not found it will say what? not found yeah see here no match for argument next cloud which means it's not found it's not on the official repositories how should we do even if we do like let's say you want to take only this package it's gonna you're gonna face some problems about the dependencies resolution you do next cloud and then ta uh, tab here it gives you only client you don't need that thing you need to because you can install any local rpm package uh, on any rpm based distribution using this command as long as you have all the dependencies resolved that depends sometimes the dependencies can be resolved from the official repositories sometimes it's not so y you may need to do this so this video can be also made about other dist about other packages that have the same thing if we do like this we're gonna face problem it will say to you that you need next cloud database next cloud web server and so on for the next cloud database you have this one mysql later in the configuration i'm not gonna do it of course you in the configuration whenever you want to do it you will have to choose between these th uh, these three things definitely you know this thing you know that you will uh, you will do some configuration Th it will include choosing which database you want to use on your next cloud and then here it says like the database is missing the database that that means this sqlite post postgresql and then mysql i don't know if i pronounced postgresql correctly or not so uh, sorry if i said it wrongly and then here it says web server these ones cannot find them also if we want to use only this package that we have pulled from Fedora's official repositories using the command sudo dnf download it will download it on your uh, on the working directory just like here we I have it here see so I downloaded them for you if you want to do the same uh, so I said to you here you cannot simply install this thing as long as you have some missing dependencies so the the thing that you need to do is simple sudo dnf install since we have the missing dependencies that cannot be resolved from the official repositories asterisk you do like this sudo dnf install after you put the packages in your uh, directory sudo dnf install asterisk dot rpm and watch this cool thing it's really cool and i do like it and i hope you yourself you, you like it and you benefit of it i apologize i'm not gonna do the configuration i believe that the i believe that the configuration is going to be very similar to any other type of installation whether it's from the official repository of your own other uh, distribution or uh, docker package manager and so on uh, docker <laughs> container or the zip package that you take from the official next cloud website let's see the magic let's see the magic of the technology here you can see that the packages are ready for us here we have them see the repository is at command line does this mean that uh, it's gonna be convenient for you 100 percent later whenever you want to update whenever uh, I don't know maybe there are some bugs some some cons so I'm sorry for that but if you insist or if you really want to install your next cloud package on your Alma or uh, Rocky box this is the way so we just type here yes and it will do the job it will download the missing ones from the official repositories it's doing the installation and you're gonna see that it's working so far 19 packages huh here the here, here is the main package itself you see we can pause the video to f show you later that the installation has been done correctly uh, by the time this thing is done i wanted to show you this website i guess many of you know it instead of if this work i'm not sure if it works or not because some of the packages here it's done here it says that it's done complete 
so we successfully installed next cloud on our alma box which itself does not uh, is not included in the official repositories see it says that it's already installed here we have this website that contains many packages if you can collect the dependencies and the main package of next cloud because i used this before and it's really useful it gives you details about the package it gives you uh, the download links it gives you how to here it wants you to do this captcha i'm not going to do it of course you can check later this website it's pkgs.org so this one is the package of santa 7 red hat red hat rhl rhel 7 rocky linux alma and so on there are so many of them here it's the this is the architecture of ARM. You should make sure you take the architecture of uh, AMD 64 or Intel X86. So here you can look, for example, you can use this website. If you do not want to make, uh, if, you're not, if you do not want to make your, if you don't want, if you don't want to make a box for your Fedora, no need. Just do this, and here it gives you almost all the possible yes here we can take this one next cloud we need to take uh, no not don't go to this one because it doesn't exist as i said to you in the official repositories we come here this one this one we take this one and then you come here and you download it here it gives um, most of the dependencies the details a lot of them we we, we don't need to go uh, in details a lot about all of this and so uh, we just try to make it uh, we, we, we give some details about it not but but not all of it here we can see so many of them all of, of the files that are going to be installed yes so you can download from here the the download links are supposed to be somewhere here you can download and you can install yourself i hope it's quite clear for you i hope you benefit from this video Thank you for watching and see you on another one.